All right, what's going on, everybody? Let's do this. Serat versus Cassiopeia. That's like a week old game. And uh, I don't know what happened here, if I have to be honest. But I can tell you that Cassia Bay is pretty pretty easy to lane against. If you don't get too close. And you don't if you don't get too far from your tower. Because I mean this champion can go without boots. That means she's gonna have insane speed. And I think she can even slow you. Either way, she's like an ADC mage. If you go too far from your tower, she's just gonna burst you down. So don't go too far from your tower. Don't go too close to her. Just uh, use your range as, like usual. If you treat every champion like they're gonna one shot you, one shot you at melee range, you're gonna be fine with the Seraph. Pretty much against any champ. Just use your range. Poke if they start coming in, try to stun. And if you get the stun, then you get to an easy W Q combination. You don't have to aim even. With stun, it's like a guaranteed. You see that? It's like guaranteed max damage shot. Can't miss that. He's staying on one place. How can you miss that? Even though sometimes I do miss. So and uh, she's running with those. I don't even know what's the master we called. If you do like thirty percent champion damage, you get the movement speed. So if she starts doing damage to you, she's gonna run really fast. She's gonna outrun you easily. So that's why I never go too far from my tower. If I do, I just... That's already a mistake. I'll probably die. We got a little bit of help from the new champion, Kane force this guy down or back rather I think she even used flash I'm not sure I'm not paying attention here like I should I mean on like text or paper we have like a perfect team got two tanks That's of course if Knarr is gonna be a tank. And of course Kane can be a tank. An ally has been slain. But Bottom is dying, so we just have to wait and see. What's gonna happen here? see how this went at the moment she slowed me and uh, if I was too far from my tower would have not be ending well As soon as I get the uh, last chapter, or last chapter, what's the item gold? I can really start poking. Too bad I miss it too much. Okay, every, every shot that I miss, if I would have hit her, I 
Oh yeah, this is running with Ghost. With Ghost, it's so easy to dodge select abilities. You have to be like really. Then it has to be like really predictable to hit them with Ghost. They did. If they throw a couple of fakes in, you just can't do, do the usual stuff because she has such a speed, she can just turn around at any moment. Well, I'm going with Lure and Seiko next, then I'm gonna finish the Morello. Then Boots, Land of Storment, Waste Stuff, Death Cap, Flask. Uh, it's game over. It's probably game over before. I was trying to do something special here. But I failed. I wasn't expecting this guy to flash ultimate me instantly. I was just about to stun her to the usual WQ combination. Then go back, but I wasn't expecting. I mean, how often do you see the guy is in the bush and then he's gonna flash an ultimate you? That's probably the first time. I got the flash down, so there's no escaping now. Not enough range. Clearly, we need more range. These guys are pre man or what? Always moving together. The games where I don't build Lord and Seca, uh, my my damage goes down significantly. Kane is dead again. That would have been an easy kill. But I got Cassiopeia down this time. I think she was focusing Knarr too much. It's always easier to shoot enemies who are focusing some or doing something else, like running away, fighting with other champions. Then they like have to multitask. Fight with the other guy and dodge your shots. You can dodge my shots, but the other guy is gonna kill you. Or you can focus the other guy, I'm gonna kill you, so. She had flash up again.
Oh yeah, we got Yashua on top. Our old friend. Let's see. I don't want to go too close. Oh, she used to windfall on Knar. Big mistake. I just wouldn't have been dead anyway, but... I mean... It's just asking to get stunned. support on enemy team an enemy has been slain I didn't want to go in all in at the moment at the or immediately I was thinking like maybe Cassiopeia was gonna come from the right side then I saw she was in the middle but Trying to play as safe as I can. Every mistake you make, especially on late game, can cost you a game. Sometimes it's even a mistake. At least that's what I think. Yeah, sure. Oh, where are you going? Nowhere, that's right. Oh, that was close. I should have used heal. You're a little superhero, you just have to save the world every day. Cassiope would have died. I stand at the brink of infinity. Well, he knows I'm here. I guess he saw I used the uh, stun. Thought I was uh, thought he was gonna get an easy kill, but it's funny Lucian almost died. Lay on the storm before boats this time. I mean, I have a pretty decent damage now, but we're behind big time. She flash. Too bad that you missed that EQ. Almost hit her.
that far on. That's not... That's never good. Come on with this health. Oh my god. Well, this well cost has two items that give this the amount of HP. Ash doesn't have HP. Okay, now we have boots too. Again, dead again. I don't know. This guy's looks. He's an assassin. Uh, by the look of his items, he's definitely assassin. I think the tank cane looks a lot more like a demon. That was a waste of output. Okay, yeah. What a mess. K6 used flash on me, so. I mean, if we start like losing like that, I mean, we're clearly losing team fights. Don't ask me why, but. Let's see if we can get this guy. Obviously not. Oh my god. I was trying to tell, tell you guys this. When our team starts losing team fights, the only way I've been able to win the games is if we beat them by defending. So Serat is really good at defending. As you can see, I can just stay back, poke them low. But then again, if they get the doors down and all our team is dead, I can't do this by myself. But usually if we're losing team fights we with Serat you can win team fights by defending. I mean they just can't rush your team immediately. They have towers they have to go through and I'm constantly seeing them, I'm poking them. So if I can poke them really low and somebody in our team does something like AoE stun or whatever even that you don't even have to do that the team just have to stay alive and like move with you either go in if I get the enemy team really low or if I get them low enough and finish somebody with it with my ultimate then it's already like 4 versus 5 that's the, that's our, these are the times when, when I have been able to win the losing games but of course most of the time your team just gives up and doesn't even know I mean, at this point, all the inhibitors are down. I did get two guys down, but they have bar on and <clears throat> Maybe we're gonna push them back this, this way, but... They're gonna reset, come again.
this point it's pretty much obvious. This guy went invisible two times. Oh, I'm seeing things. I just wanted to see, show you guys some losing game also. You always think I'm winning every game, no it's not happening, I'm not winning every game. Yeah, that's it for the day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.